from Conard High School for the semifinal matchup of the 2016-17 state tournament where number one ranked Cheshire will be playing the number four ranked East Hartford Hornets. This is the second year in a row that the Hornets have made it to the semifinal. Last year they fell to Ridgefield. Um, this year, whoever wins this game will be facing Darien in the final, who beat Ridgefield in five very exciting sets. East Hartford comes in here with a record of 15 and one, and Cheshire comes in here with a record of 18-0. East Hartford uh, got here by beating um, Southington in their last match, and they beat Southington in three straight sets at East Hartford High School. Previously, they had played Southington twice before that, won both times, and uh, by a score of 3-2 each time. And one of those was at the CCC Championship, which actually was played on Southington's home court. East Harper dropped the first two sets and then came back and won the last three. So um, East Harper comes in here ready to play. Right now you see Cheshire on the screen. Uh, they're taking turns warming up. In a few minutes, we'll have East Hartford out here. A few more details. Uh, yeah, uh, the score uh, for East Hartford's last game, they beat Southington 25-21 in the first, 25-16 in the second, and 25-19 in the third set. Cheshire, on the other hand, was taken to four sets by uh, Trumbull. Uh, they won the first one 25-21, then 25-16, dropped the third set 19-25, and won the last set 25-21. And um, the matchup that I was mentioning between Darien and Ridgefield, who are uh, perennial um, foes, um, and that's Darien who'll be waiting in the finals. Darien lost the first set 23-25. They lost the second, the next set 14-25. And then they won the following three sets by two points each. 25-23, 25-23, 15-13. So that match definitely went to the wire. Uh, we'll see what happens in this one. East Hartford has had its share of matches where they have been taken to the wire. Uh, they've also had their share of matches that they've won rather handily. Um, looking down the line, let's see, to see who, which opponents they might have shared. Both of them played Newington. Cheshire um, beat Newington 3-0, whereas East Hartford beat Newington in a closer match 3-2. And earlier in the season, Ch Cheshire also faced Newington, and on that occasion, they, they beat him 3-1. Cheshire beat Xavier 3-1 early in the season, and the Hornets beat Cheshire 3-0 uh, in the first round of this tournament. Right now in the semifinals. To get here, East Hartford had to win two games, and so did um, Cheshire. Cheshire beat Glastonbury and Trumbull, East Hartford beat Xavier and Southington.
the CIAC Boys Volleyball Class of State Semifinal. The match is going to be between number one, Cheshire Rams. The coaches, players, and officials will contest today's game under the rules of the National Federation. We insist that all spectators conduct themselves in such a manner that the players and officials will have the type of game that will be truly competitive and fairly played. Now for your starting lineups. First from your Cheshire Rams, number six, Junior Alex Feldman. Number four, senior Luca Pagoli. Number 28, senior Jeff Tang. Number 32, senior Andrew Hart. Number 8, senior libero captain Mitchell Manuel. Number 13, senior captain Matt Russell. And number 23, senior captain Mike Stickney. A lot of that lineup, just like the Hornets. And now for your East Hartford Hornets. Junior captain number five, Tyler Diaz. Tyler Diaz. Number two, senior Jaden Alvarez. Number four, senior captain Jonathan Trail. Number 12, senior Emmanuel Aguima. Number 15, Captain Senior Rafael Cruz de Oro. And Senior Number 18, Elon Aguiman. And the Barrow, Number 33, Noah Galiki. And now, would you please rise for our national anthem? East Hartford had its regular pregame dance. It has served them well, so why stop now?
on the floor for the Hornets. We have Tyler Diaz, Noah Galifi, and Jaden Oliveras in back. In front, we have Jonathan Trail. Enoch Ajman and Rafa Cruz. And it looks like the first serve will go to the Hornets. And the first attempt by Cheshire goes long. Tyler Diaz gets the first point for the Hornets. Touch saved by Jonathan Trail. Then Rafa Cruz goes up. It's saved by a Cheshire man in the back. I don't know their names yet. And a violation is called. So Cheshire is on the board. And serving for Cheshire will be number eight. Mitchell Manware. No, excuse me, that's number ten. Cruz. Yes, that was number 10, Max Tugas. And Rafa Cruz going back to what he was doing in the last game in many, many games. Jonathan Trail to serve. No good. Four serving one for the Hornets who have jumped out to a three-point lead. in the defense let it go I mean they really would have had a hard time getting it to it anyway Alex Feldman will be serving there was another violation I believe it went beyond that white and red stick that's standing up on the side of the net. Miss hit by Noah Galifi. The game is now tied at four. Things can quick change that quickly. Also for uh, on the floor for Cheshire in the back, we have number zero, Neil DeLostrito. Number eight, Michael Mitchell Manware. In the front, we have number 13, Matt Rosillo. All right. That was an amazing save. That was a nice save in the back. Five serving four. So Cheshire takes the lead. Alex Feldman is serving. Rafa Cruz is called for a carry several times now that this Linesman has called violations. Saved by the Hornets. Oh! They did the hard work and then they lost it out there. Seven serving four. On the scoreboard, Connard is Cheshire and Visitor is East Hartford. Jonathan Trell lets it go wisely. I have no idea what that call was. Somehow they got the point. Eight serving four. Rafa Cruz. 
And this time there's a violation by Cheshire. So far there's been quite a few calls that I just cannot describe for you guys. I'm sorry. Pedro de Jesus comes into the game. He's been a reliable server for the Hornets. Ajamang sends it back over. Two touches. They are calling this game a lot closer than other games I've seen. Six serving eight. The lead is two for Cheshire. Nicely saved by the Hornets. Oh, Ajiman. And Cheshire is, it gets it, and it is blocked very nicely. And De Jesus, seven serving eight. They are within one. The game is tied. So East Hartford jumped up to a quick lead and then Cheshire tied at four. Then Cheshire took the lead and now they're tied at eight. Pedro de Jesus serving again. Ajiman goes up high. And it's still alive. And that is sent long. Cheshire was calling for a touch. There was none. And East Arthur takes the lead. Nine serving eight. Miss hit. Ten serving eight. Looks like Cheshire has called a timeout. For a moment there, it seemed like they had the momentum, but East Arthur did come back. Now they lead by two. So, Rafa Cruz, Jacob Cruz, Emmanuel Ajman, Pedro de Jesus still serving, Jonathan Trell, and Tyler Diaz on the floor for the Hornets. Ten serving eight. save. Good point. And it is, oh, it's still alive. And then Cruz comes in for the kill and it works. What a nice point. The best point of the match so far. East Hartford leads 11 to 8. Cruz again. That man in the back seems to get to just about everything. Jonathan Trail. Violation is called. 12 serving eight for the Hornets. Pedro de Jesus has really come through this time. I think he has six points in a row. Oop. I spoke too soon. Cheshire will serve, nine serving 12, and it'll be Matt Stickney serving for them. East Harford substitution. Pedro de Jesus comes out, and Equazi comes in. 
Jacob Cruz. And that goes out. They've hit it long several times here. 13 serving nine, Rafa Cruz will serve. It's sort of scary to think about what's gonna happen when those balls start going in, because they've gone long on at least four. Miss hit, still in play. Jonathan Trill gets it over the net. Oh, Tyler Diaz! They had been practicing that play and it worked. No one saw that coming. 14 serving nine. Hard serve by Rafa Cruz. And the violation is called. Lots of violations on both teams in this match. 10 serving 14. And this time it'll be number 13, Matt Russolillo, to serve. Rafa Cruz sort of lobs it. It wasn't exactly where he wanted. And a couple of missed touches by the Hornets there. 11 serving 14. Russolillo will serve again. Cruz sends it over. Jonathan Trell sends it deep. Neither team seems to be taking any chances on this. Ball goes off the net, which slows it. Andy Storper gets it back. And finally, Rafa Cruz for the corner. Jacob Cruz serving, 15 serving, 11. And that was number 32, Andrew Hart, and he seems really pumped by that play. With his height and physique, it's, I imagine that he's called upon to do that kind of play quite often. Okay, so number four, Luca Brigoli to serve. Oh! Soft play, but they got it. 15 serving 12 for the Hornets. And Emmanuel Ajaman will serve now. And the block ends up on the wrong side of the net. And Mitchell Manware will serve. The Cheshire uh, trails by three. Some nice defensive plays. And another violation was called. I'm not sure. I am sorry, guys. I, I feel very unable to give you information in this game. Too many things are happening that I don't understand. 15 serving 16. goes out, 17 serving 15, and it'll be Tyler Diaz to serve again. Yeah. 
18 serving 15. Tayo Ludias, Noah Galifi, and why am I drawing a blank? Jaden Oliveros in the back. Hornet save it, get it back over the net. And that one hits the line. Nice play by Cheshire. And number zero, Neil Delostrito comes back in. Ajman goes up high for that one. Looks like he switched positions with Rafa Cruz. He took the outside and made that kill. Jonathan Trail will serve. 19 serving 16. The lead has been three for a little while now. That kill is good. And this time number six. Alex Feldman is getting ready to serve. Rafa Cruz can't put it away. Hornets go up high to block that. 20 serving 17. So again, the lead is three, and this time East Hartford is within five of possibly taking the first set. Pedro de Jesus comes in to serve. Soft touch. Rafa Cruz, oh, he sends it too far wide. So number 23, Mike Stickney will now serve for Cheshire. And Ajiman, this time it was Emmanuel Ajiman going up high. 21 serving 18, lead is still three. This time the Hornets are within four of taking the first set. Rafa Cruz to serve. Matt Russolillo to serve. Oh, Emmanuel Ajaman. Jacob Cruz comes back in. Patrick Ajaman sits down. One of three Ajamans on the floor. Now, now the only Ajaman on the floor is. Manny Ajman, and there's two cruises on the floor, Jacob and Rafa. Oh, that was sent long by Jonathan Trail. He had the right idea. So, 20 serving 22. East Hartford is within three points of taking the first set. And Cheshire's within two points of catching up, and this time it's Luca Brigoli to, to serve. A lot of Italian names on, uh, on this roster. Or Italian sounding at least. Rafa Cruz sends it deep. Offense reset. Number six for Cheshire. Alex Feldman. So Cheshire is now within one. This is going down to the wire, folks. And that was J. 
Jonathan Trell who made that play. It was blocked by um, Cheshire but sent out of bounds. So East Hartford is within two of taking the set. And Cheshire is within two of catching up. And Emmanuel Ajaman to serve. And the block went out. 22-23. And the serve goes out, and East Dartford will have two set points. Tyler Diaz serving. Touch. Number 23, Mike Stickney. He tried that several times before. The other times he didn't time it quite right. This time he did. 23 serving 24, still a set point for the Hornets. And that was a miss set by Rafa Cruz, and the game is now tied at 24. So now. The winner will be the first to 26. That's how it works. There must be a winner by at least two points. Jonathan Trail soft touch does not clear the net. It seemed like a good idea. He's getting down on himself. And the Hornets call a timeout. That first set was close all the way through. Actually, excuse me, is still close all the way through. Set point for um, Cheshire this time. They take this one, they take the first set. it there. They were able to save it. Rafa Cruz is slowed by the blocker. Man in back gets it. Noah Galifi saves it. Goes right over the net. Oh! And that was Enoch Ajiman with the block. Scores tied at 25. First to 27 will win the set. Rafa Cruz this time. Set point for the Hornets. But they only have one because if they lose the point, the game is tied again. Serve barely clears the net. Enoch Ajiman, and that's it. Hornets take the first set. It almost seemed like they'd lost their lead, but they got it back. So there are three minutes timeout here, and the Hornets lead one set to nothing. Great match so far, both teams.
Yeah, so I'm recording on there while I'm doing the video. Those other two are. Those are yeah, yeah. It's amazing so far. That set could have gone either way of many, many occasions. Did you see the score from the Darien and uh, Ridgefield game yesterday? Oh, it's already over? Oh, yeah. No, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah no, they played yesterday. Oh, what was it? Darien. They dropped the first set 23-25. They dropped the, set, the second set 14-25. Came back in the third set 25-23. Fourth set, 25-23. Fifth set, 15-13. Four sets were by just by two points. That's just mind boggling. And, and not once did they have to go over 25. That, that's the, yeah, weirdest, yeah, yeah. That's the weirdest part of all. How, you know, just 25, 23, 25, 23, each time. I don't get it. I've never seen that before. Yep. Okay, looks like we're going to be back in a second. Great first set. East Hartford took it by two points, 27-25. Some great blocking at the end there by the Hornets. On the court we have, in the back, we have Rafa Cruz, Manny Ajaman. Jaden Oliveras in the front. We have Enoch Ajaman, Tyler Diaz, and looks like Noah Galifi is waiting to come in. I'm, I don't know what the rules are for substitutions for the Libero, but uh, it all it, the way the Hornets always seem to do it is a double substitution. Somebody comes in for one player, and then the libero comes in for the person that had been subbed in um i'm sure there's a good explanation and one of these days i will have to ask mr martinez about it okay so as as anticipated noah galifi comes in and manny ajaman comes out so far uh, the fans have been very respectful. The cheers have been nice. There's been, everything has been good. Uh, I really like the position I have here. Actually, I could have gone a little bit further to the right. Yep, I can't anymore. Um, but uh, I can see both sides of the net. Okay, so here we go. Number 24. Matt Bro serving. Noah Galiffi sends it, and then Jonathan Trill attempts the kill. And that kill by number six, Alex Feldman, is good. So Matt Bro will serve again. One serving zero for Cheshire. Ajaman! Enoch Ajaman likes that move. He gets close to Tyler Diaz and hits it quickly. Often he fakes and then it goes on to Rafa Cruz on, or Jonathan Trail on the side. Locked by the Hornets. Kept alive. Again, a quick set and attempt by Enoch Ajaman. Jaden Oliveira sends it high. Rafa Cruz this time. And almost saved by Cheshire. So the Hornets now lead 2-1, and Tyler Diaz will be serving. serving one.
Jonathan trails, soft touch over the blockers. Cheshire attempts the same thing. Block is there. Block is there again. Jonathan Trell is pumped by that. And the score is now four serving one for the Hornets. Tyler Diaz to serve again. Rafa Cruz sends it deep. Blocked by Enoch Ajaman. And since the blockers are all over the play, they attempted to go wide, and it went a little bit too wide. Point to East Hartford. Tyler Diaz again. Six serving one. This is the biggest lead of either set so far, and Cheshire takes a timeout. So Tyler Diaz still serving. He's had a nice run out there. He's earned the last four points. serving one. Several hands went up from both teams up high, but the ball, no one touched the ball and it just stayed on that side of the net. Tyler Diaz again. This one is long. Two serving seven. And number six, Alex Feldman will serve. Cruz. They never expect that from him. Eight serving two. Jonathan Trail goes to serve. Nice block. That was Tyler Diaz blocking that. And that one goes deep. They claim the touch. And the officials did see a touch, so three serving eight. Number 23, Mike Stickney serving. Rafa Cruz again with a soft touch. He's liking that play. Pretty soon they're going to start to anticipate it. That's when he needs to go back to what he ordinarily does. Pedro de Jesus comes in to serve. Nice attempt by Enoch Ajaman, but it went a little bit wide. Four serving nine. And number 13, Matt Russolillo will serve. Emmanuel 
Lajman sends that one into the net. Rusulolo again, five serving nine. And it goes wide, 10 serving five. Rafa Cruz to serve. Blocked. Still in play. And again, blocked. Emmanuel Ajaman. The Hornet blocking has really been the, the difference in this match so far. 11 serving five. And that was a quasi weirdo. Six serving 11. Luca Brigoli comes back in to serve. Sends it hard. It hits the rafters. Oh, they. Oh! The fact that that ball stayed in play after all that is commendable. And it seems like right now the two teams from the following match are coming in. I think it's the uh, Class M semifinal. And I would have to look that up. I don't know who it is. Trail blocks. And this time Trail puts it away. 13 serving six. Jacob Cruz is serving. by Tyler Diaz. Jacob Cruz will serve again, 13 serving six. Starford point, 14 serving six. Jacob Cruz still serving. Jacob Cruz from the back. And it's blocked by Trail or Ajuman. Either way, the next ball goes into the net. 16 serving six. Jacob Cruz still serving. The East Hartford height is giving all kinds of problems to Cheshire. 17 serving six. This is a game of streaks, and the Hornets are definitely on one right now. And again! Emmanuel Ajuman blocks. Jacob Cruz again, 18 serving six. I am very surprised that the coach for Cheshire has not chosen to call a timeout. And a soft ball beats the Hornets. The lead is 11. As number eight, Mitchell Manwer will serve. Ajman. 
And Enoch Ajman comes in. A quasi weirdo sits down and Emmanuel Ajman will serve. The lead is 12. Jacob Cruz comes to the front to set that one over. Emmanuel Ajman, trail and Cruz, Tyler Diaz. Cruz, Ajman, Fidin Oliveros, what the, okay, never mind. That was really, really nice until that point. Eight serving 19. And number 24, Matt Bro is coming in to serve for Cheshire. for them tonight. And serving nine. The Hornets are within four of taking this set. Tyler Diaz. Blocked by Rafa Cruz, who now sets it up, and Ajaman ends up with the ball. Miscommunication. 22 serving nine. Blocked by Ajaman goes out. The score is now 10 serving 22. The lead is 12 and the Hornets are within three of taking the second set. <laughs> 23 serving 10. Jonathan Trail will serve. Looks like he's gonna try a hard one here. As he steps all the way to the back. Running start, nope. No, no, it wasn't. It was soft. Okay, Cheshire is definitely a little flustered right now. they wanted to do for some time. Number 23, Matt Stickney goes up for that one and he will be serving next. And Starford has 13 set points. They better be able to put this away. Hopefully in just one. And that is out. 12 serving 24. 12 set points. Ajaman. And it's good, and it was blocked by Rafa Cruz. And that's the set. So East Hartford takes the second set, 25 to 12.
They are definitely surprising Cheshire at this point. Cheshire has been unbeaten all season. One of the problems with being unbeaten is when you start to fall behind, it's not easy to deal with it. And looking at their record, they've had they had a, a three-two win over Lewis Mills, a three-two win over Massac, and a three-two win over che Shelton. Outside of that. There's some 3-1 wins, but practically everything else is 3-0. So they haven't been tested as much. Whereas on the other hand, well, let's see, the Hornets have one, two, three, three, two wins, but they also have a loss. And they had their loss against Enfield in the last game of the season. Um, unexpected, one would say, and Actually, Coach Martinez is somewhat happy about that loss. Not in that he wanted to lose, but he, it's, it's good for them. The other thing is it, that changed the seedings, and it made it so the Hornets did not have to face either Ridgefield or Darien until the final if they got there. And Ridgefield and Darien, and this time now Darien, given that Ridgefield is out, are definitely a teams to beat in this tournament, even though Cheshire is ranked number one. So here we are, third set. East Dartford leads two sets to zero. They took the first set by two points. They, it, they had to take it all the way up to 27-25. The second set was completely different as the Hornets won 25-12. But this is volleyball. Anything could happen. They've seen it themselves. They went to Southington, lost the first two sets somewhat easily is not the right word. Um, more easily than they would have liked. And then they came back in the final three. In the semifinal yesterday, Darien lost the first two, and they came back also. So anything could still happen. Tyler Diaz serving. Jonathan Trail with the kill. It hits the rafters. No one is able to get to it. And East Hartford leads by one. Tyler Diaz serving. One serving nothing. Wow, it is amazing that that ball was still alive. It hit one of the Hornet players in the back of the head, bounced off of it, and still they were able to pull it off. Tyler Diaz, two serving zero. Miscommunication by the Hornets. One serving two. Another soft touch attempted. And a violation was called. A lot of these violations happen when I'm looking at a completely different place. So if I was looking at the players all the time to check, I might be able to see what was happening. Now, several people for Cheshire are complaining that the ball was carried, but the referees have let them play and, and the Hornets have done that the entire season. Oh, nice save by Jonathan Trail. Noah Galipi. Oh! 
He almost got to that one. Three, three. The score is tied. And number 27, Fritz Acurante, comes into the game for the first time, and he will serve. Rafa Cruz hits it hard. Saved by Cheshire. Jonathan Trell goes up high. Saved by Cheshire. And that time, Jonathan Trell mishit. And the ball went too close to the net. Four serving three. Cheshire owns the lead. Patrick Ajaman on the outside. And Pedro de Jesus comes back in to serve. Than many of those for either team actually. So Cheshire leads five to four. And Pedro de Jesus lets that one go wisely. The score is tied at five. Rafa Cruz will serve. again by the Hornets. And some fans think that the net was touched by Manny Ajaman in that one. I think he touched the ball, which in turn touched the net. And I think that's what the officials felt also. Patrick Ajaman goes up high. Rafa Cruz is serving. The lead is two for the Hornets. Six serving seven. And Matt Bro will serve. Serves it long, 8-6 for the Hornets. Okay, and looks like Farmington is one of the teams here. Goes into the net. Seven serving eight. Cheshire's within one. gets that one. Again. Cheshire feels that that ball was carried. Referees say no. Nine serving seven. It's good. Nice block. Ten serving seven. Manny Ajman will serve again. Oh. 
Off the block, saved by Jaden Oliveras. Rafa Cruz attempts, Tyler Diaz gets it in. Whoa, how do they keep that alive? And it's blocked in by Tyler Diaz. serving seven. Another great block, Jonathan Trail. Ajuman to Ajuman. I mean Ajuman to Diaz to Ajuman. 13 serving seven. The Hornets again. They have. They have. They've had the momentum. Into the net. Emmanuel Ajaman will serve again. Killed. Eight serving 14. Mike Stickney will serve. Soft touch by Jonathan Trell. Cheshire can't get to it. Tyler Diaz will serve. 15 serving eight. <laughs> Cheshire fans are doing whatever they can to get this team riled up. And a carry is called, I think. Tyler Diaz, 16 serving eight. He can't quite get his hands on that one. Nine serving 16. Yes. Jonathan Trell off the blocker. 17 serving nine. Jonathan Trail will serve. And that time the kill is good. That's Andrew Hart, number 32. Big guy. I haven't seen him out there very much. But twice I've seen him make that play, and he's done a nice job with it. is blocked but it goes way out 18 serving 10 Pedro de Jesus comes in he will serve mistimed that and and Enoch Ajman goes up high. He loves doing that. Tyler Diaz is right underneath him, sets it. Enoch Ajman goes up high, sends the ball practically vertically down. 
19 serving 10. Twenty serving ten. So the Hornets lead by ten, and they are within five of clinching this match. No one would have thought that they'd be in a position such as this right now. Nobody would have thought. Now don't get me wrong, I was always confident that they would win this game, but not like this. Serving 10. Pedro de Jesus to serve. The Hornets are within five points of going on to the championship match versus Darien. Hmm. Okay. 11 serving 20. goes up high for that one. From that time, everyone was looking for Ajaman to hit it because he'd been doing it so often. Within four of taking this match. how that stayed alive and again the Hornet blockers are just doing everything out there and Cheshire finally gets that point but what seemed like they could have finished long ago went on and on 12 serving 21 Matt Bro is serving to hit it but as long as he doesn't touch the net it's okay and he has the height to pull off something like that 22 serving 12 Jacob Cruz comes in he's hoping to be able to put this away Twenty-three serving twelve. Jacob Cruz changes sides, goes for the line. He's about a foot wide with that attempt. Number four, Luca Brigoli is going to serve. He switches sides too. Tyler Diaz sends it over. Jonathan Trail. 23 serving 13. The Hornets are within two points. Oh, 
Tyler Diaz. They came off the bench for that. And that's it. That is it. What a way to put that away. So the Hornets take this match in three. 27-25, 25-12, and 25-13. That first set gave the impression that this entire match is going to be very, very close. But they put it away a lot faster than expected. So the championship match will be on Thursday at a site and time to be determined against Darien. Okay. Uh, fans are happy over there. Now, I would go interview some of these guys, but I don't see the point because right now the uh, people from the local networks should be interviewing them, and I can have my Hornet Action News crew interview them during the student news tomorrow so let's plan on that thank you very much for watching uh and then again thursday uh what would that be june 8th is it going to be a big day